y'all it's that time i am at hobby lobby and i'm about to go in and get some spring decor for my porch um that's one thing i do like doing is decorating the porch for the different seasons so i just took down the winter decor and now i'm about to find some spring decor to um, decorate the porch with um i found a lot of the winter stuff here at hobby lobby so i traveled all the way here from work i'm fresh off of work and now i'm about to come up in here to get me some stuff so stay tuned let me show you what i end up getting if i get anything but it's such a beautiful day like it's march 1st it feels like spring for real even though it's still technically winter but this week is spring and i am all the way here for it so my audio wasn't great when i originally recorded this so I'm, i had to do a little voiceover but I found this cute little pinwheel to stick in my yard and I really like how pretty it was and how it spins and then I also found that hello spring sign that you see in my cart and there's just I love Hollywood Lobby because there's just so much stuff in here that you can get to decorate the inside and outside of your home so I'm just walking around taking in what they have at that moment um, they had some bird baths there um, I didn't need a bird bath I bought one of my bird baths from a garden center so I don't need a new one but they have some really cute stuff some bird houses some um, little tchotchkes that you can get I really like this big flower these like sunflower type metal art works that they have so um, I ended up getting one this particular one that I'm handling right here has that yellow burst in the middle it was only $15 and that was before the discount so I ended up putting that in my cart I think it went really well with my door my door is painted yellow also so I thought that was a cute way to bring it into the decor as well they have lots of signage. Um, they had this cute little flower um, de decoration here. And it was really cute. I thought it was interesting. Um, but I ended up not getting it because I was afraid the birds would take a liking to it. So I didn't want to have to deal with the finches on my porch again. I already had to clean off the porch because they they hung out too much at my front porch but you see they have nice little butterflies little welcome signs and we already have a welcome sign that we bought from Hobby Lobby and the one that we have is really cute um, it's the front says hello fall and the back says um, welcome friends or something like that so I didn't need any of that stuff but there's some cute shelving here I'm trying to get past this little pole that they got but there's some cute shelving here as you can see the welcome signs there's there they even had some summer stuff out already um but yeah they had some more pinwheels different colors i really like the colorfulness that they had some giant flowers that you can stick in your yard as yard garden stuff so i ended up getting some of these tiny pinwheels because I thought it was really cute especially this bronzy one but yeah I was debating on whether I wanted to swap out the pinwheel that I had in my cart or not but I I was just admiring these wind spinners they're they're cute I really liked the different colors that they had to offer I think mine that I had in the cart was better I like the the blue and the jewels but I got these smaller ones to put by the bushes so you can see me adding that to my cart right now but yeah they they had some great stuff everything for spring was marked down i think it was 40 percent off so as you can see i'm just getting a little 
turned around. I'm trying to look at the pillows. I was debating on whether I was going to reuse the pillows from last year for summer. So as you can see, they had quite the variety of pillows, but I didn't see anything that matched the style I was going for. They had some hummingbird feeders. Um, I think I'm just going to use the ones from last year. Uh, they had this rug here that I could put up under my welcome mat and you'll see it at the end how I I styled that on my porch as well but I like the fresh green color to go with the spring theme they had some other rugs and mats some for the kitchen and out and they had these nice little outdoor rugs I really like that yellow I might I was thinking really hard about this yellow I really love that color but I don't need an outdoor rug right now, especially not for the front. And they had a whole lot of kitchen stuff that I was really thinking about taking home with me. And again, here's some more bird baths that they have. They have quite the variety of the glass bird baths. They're really beautiful. They're just really nice. And here you can see they had some summer toys out and some spring stuff um they had a lot of easter decor so if you're looking for easter decor hobby lobby is the place to be um i don't celebrate easter so i wasn't decorating for easter i was just decorating for spring but yeah they had some really cute stuff this little these little pails that i was looking at i was thinking about using those um they had this whole aisle filled with Easter stuff, with Easter wreaths, with little bunnies, with the eggs and all that stuff. They had some more of these like hanging vines. You can see these little bunny ears, more welcome signs. They, they had everything for Easter up in here. And I know Easter has passed since I put this video up, but if you see it after, excuse me you know exactly where to go for this decor right up in here yeah so bunnies all kinds of bunnies everywhere and they had some st. Patty's Day stuff too so they had pretty much anything that you needed to decorate they had it for the season um, lots of rabbits as you can tell so many bunnies and like I said on this side say Patty's Day stuff I don't celebrate for that holiday either so I don't decorate but there's there's lots and lots and lots of stuff I thought about the rabbits because I think they're cute but I also didn't want to think they're that that invited into my home they already set up shop outside my home um, so yeah and this is some of the summer stuff the toys if you have kids this is some cute stuff that they can pick up and play in the yard with some more of that Easter stuff but yeah it's a lot of summer fun up in there I like this little woven basket and I ended up getting one but, and as you can see you know how black people are you gotta you can't get the first one you gotta get the one in the back so I ended up getting Oh, not the first one, but the one further back. So I can have one that's been touched less and handled less. So yeah, my cart is getting quite filled with all kinds of stuff. As y'all can see, I, I got so many things up in there and some more summer stuff too. So I might come back for some of this summer stuff. Oh, of course they got Easter candy out too. But I might come back for some of the center stuff, like my nieces and nephews come. They had some stuff for my dog, but I didn't get them anything. I don't dress up my dog anymore. He's a dog. He doesn't need to be dressed up. But if if that's your thing, they got stuff for your dog in here, too. And all these baskets, um, they had, it looked like they had some pool toys on the left, too. Like, they, they were just ready, ready for the seasons to start they had some more easter eggs and whatnot they had some little tchotchkes on the end cap just some 
socks and I went to and I stopped by the floral department because I was contemplating making a wreath or not a wreath but a bouquet out of the flowers that they had there so the thing is and I didn't realize that the flowers were marked down but I didn't see the signs that said they were marked down but when I got to the front, that's when I realized that they were marked down. So I could have bought flowers and put them together and make a bouquet, but I ended up not doing it here because I, I, I didn't want to pay full price. But they weren't full price. Just so you know, if you're ever looking for some, some things to make a bouquet out of, Hobby Lobby typically does have their florals marked down, so... Yeah, but yeah, I was looking at these little mini bouquets. I thought they were so cute. I was trying to put them together in my little basket, not my um, shopping cart, but the, the little woven basket that I picked up. And I think these were like $15 for the mini bouquets, but they're so, so cute. I really loved how they looked. Um, I think these were kind of like roses or peonies, but they were so cute and they were $15, but I felt like that was a little much, but I didn't realize they were marked down. So, uh, they were $14, but yeah, they had some really cute ones with like the lamb's ears and just like really soft, pale, um, colors that I really like for spring. They had all kinds of different mini bouquets that were put together. Yeah, that one was like my favorite. I really love that one. But I just really didn't want to pay $14. <laughs> if I would have known it was marked down, I probably would have ended up getting this. This is beautiful. I really, like I was really thinking about it. I put it into my little woven. You see how it looks in the basket? It's beautiful, isn't it? But also didn't think it was full enough like I felt like you see how it's moving around I felt like it was just so easy the wind could just take it out all at once so I, I didn't get it end up getting it but it was really really pretty so I ended up putting it back but yeah they have lots of mini bouquets that are just so easy to pick up and grab you could probably put it in a vase in your house too and make it really, look really nice but look at look at all the florals at Hobby Lobby there's so much there's so much to choose from like my senses were starting to get overwhelmed if I wanted to just put together a bouquet but I ended up getting some oh, lamb's I ears Hobby Lobby and it was about less than $80 I think for everything and it smells like the place to have my porch looking good every spring. <laughs> so now I'm about to duck into the cover and get some food for tomorrow. I'm going back into work tomorrow. Right. I'm going back into work tomorrow. So I want to have lunch and breakfast. I'm about to do that. Then I'm going to go to the Dollar Tree. And then after that, I'm um, go home and walk the dog. Alright, I'll see y'all.